Yo, what's on, but it's Ben Fire here back with another video, and today I'm be showing you guys a unique formation. Now, this is the triple option scheme, and it's gonna come to us out of the gun slot offset formation. Now, this is in the spread offensive playbook, so it's one of the unique ones, not team uh, playbooks, but this playbook definitely is very unique. As you guys see, we actually have 33 shotgun formations, just a ton of unique formations and plays, and this gun slot offset is gonna be a actually very fun formation run i have a ton of fun running the formation you can just have a lot of success running it as well so i've gone ahead and preset my audibles here i have the rpo read bubble which is going to be this one on the top i have the rpo peak zone bubble and then i also have my triple option and then we have our fl drag and we have our underplay. i'm just going to come out under every play it basically gives us a fifth audible and we can definitely just audible out of it if we don't want to run it. And if we do want to run it, then we can just go ahead and call the play. So I'm just going to respot the ball real quick. I actually prefer to run this in the middle of the field, not really to a hash. Although you can run it to a hash, it doesn't really make too big of a difference. But I'm going to go ahead and start off with the RPO read bubble right here. Now, this is actually a very... Uh, you guys might think that it's a little bit worse just because we're throwing the swing pass to the left side now It's actually very interesting the run with Lamar Jackson that you guys see I'm gonna do So here I'm just gonna dump it down to Ingram because those two DNs and the linebacker clamp down on the run Now actually you can go ahead and throw it right away like this So I'm just gonna snap hold RB throw it like that you can throw it like that I actually kind of prefer though to wait a little bit because what my open up is going to be this Lamar Jackson run that you guys will see in a bit if I can get it going here. So he's going to clamp down. I can take off with Lamar Jackson right here. That's just the reason that I like to wait. Look how deadly that run is. You get a fast quarterback, put fast break, escape artist on him, and he is gone. Because, because it is an RPO, escape artist is going to activate when you're running the ball. You're going to get a little bit of a boost behind the line of scrimmage. And you're just going to be able to torch past some people and cause... Some havoc on the defense now you can I actually meant to handed that off there that was my bad I also had RB wide open but I guess EA doesn't love to register the button if you guys don't know the way that you hand it off it's gonna be by holding that a button as it looks like I was sometimes it looks like you're gonna get past him but you don't but I'm just gonna hand it off to Gus right here just hold a there you guys see hand it up the gut now this run is this inside zone is a little bit worse. I prefer sort of keeping it with Lamar Jackson, but if you have to hand it off, you can still pick up some decent yards, but the other runs are a little bit better than this one. Just gonna go ahead and put that out there, but you guys see, we run, and if that cornerback goes ahead and clamps down on you, you can dump that down to Ingram late and still able to pick up like 14 yards right there just on the little late check down. So just, I'm just gonna come out here, show you guys running it. I can hand it off to Gus right here. Yeah, the run is definitely worse. I would have kept it in that situation. I would have hit RB, but you can just come out here. There's so many different reads you can make because I'm in the wrong play, but there's definitely a lot of combinations that you can do. You can fake scramble with Lamar, then you can hit Ingram late. You can come out here, snap throw, as I meant to throw that, but still picking up decent yards. You will take those five yards gain five yard gains if you're running this formation any day of the week in a sort of run heavy formation you're going to take those all day once again i'm able to hit mark ingram and you kind of want a good block some good blocking wide receivers some big boys terrell owens great receiver to have on the outside just some other some good big receivers i can pick it up you guys see there with Lamar Jackson, all it takes is a little bit of space, and I end up picking like seven, picking up seven yards. I didn't slide there, but you guys pretty much get the gist. I'll show you guys one last time here the play. Uh, I should have handed off there, but you guys pretty much get it how to run it. Just takes a little bit of practice. I haven't been running this formation for the longest. I've just been running it for a couple days now, but it's gonna, it does take a little bit of practice to recognize when to run it, when to throw it right away, when to give it to the tailback. So. It's going to take us to our next play, the RPO Peak Zone Bubble. This is pretty much the exact opposite of the RPO Read Bubble. You guys see that. And we're pretty much just flipping the swing running back and the running back that we're going to give the football to. Now, this inside zone is way better than the other one. For whatever reason, the block's set up a lot better. Look at how much yards I'm getting in comparison to that one. And keep in mind that we are using some slow running backs in this case. If you get a speed strat on the outside, you are definitely going to be picking up some yards. So you can just come out here. 
I uh, accidentally actually kept the ball with Lamar there. But if I held A, I had a huge gap with Ingram once again. You just have to make sure that you hold it distinctly because I'm just lightly holding it and I'm not able to get the ball off. But another thing you can do, dump it down to Gus Edwards on that swing pass. You have two blockers on that right-hand side, and sometimes you can pick up some decent yards. This one, I'm not too fond of sort of keeping it with Lamar. You can. It's just definitely not as good as the other one. But you do have a chance to pick up some decent yards there. It's just a little bit tight. You can't run to the outside as well as the RPO read bubble. You just sort of have to cut it in between the tackles, which can be cause for concern. You can come out here, run it like this, dump it down to Edwards late, like we were doing with the RPO read bubble, and still pick up some great gains on offense. But I mainly like to run this just to give the football to Mark Ingram. You have that swing route that could that's going to move his user out of the way. It's even moving the CPU out of the way if you paid attention to that right lineback, middle linebacker right there. He followed that swing route, and we're just opening up Mark Ingram a little bit. And if he doesn't follow it, you can easily just throw it right away to Gus Edwards. Uh, if Willie Steed picks up that block, we're off to the races, but he's just a little bit too slow. So, just a very good play to run. It's not, it's not as good as the RPO read bubble, but the inside zone does make it a very useful play in this formation. It's probably my favorite inside zone run to the running back that I have. So that's going to take us to our next play, Mountain Triple Option. Now this triple option is, uh, it could be a little bit better. The only reason that it's not the best play by far out of this formation is because Lamar Jackson's not going to have that escape artist. It isn't an RPO, it is just a run play. So the escape artist isn't really going to activate on him. He's going to be slow. He's just going to be a pretty much a little bit of a slow receiver. It's going to ruin the play a little bit, but able to, you're still able to hit Gus Edwards. I mean, Lamar Jackson's not really even getting it opened up too much anyway on these types of runs. We're just reading a simple handoff to Gus or handoff to Mark Ingram. If he's not open, we can give it to Gus Edwards on that simple pitch, but Lamar Jackson's a little bit less of a threat in this, but you guys see, you can just come out here, run the ball with Mark Ingram. His user, he's going to be worried. He's going to be paranoid about the dump downs that you're doing. And you're just going to be able to simply eat on him. Again, you guys see two, two linebackers clamped down on us. And we only had one man to beat that came on us. We can just pitch that out and open that up. So you guys see Lamar Jackson's not even really getting open. Now he does get open occasionally, but mainly focused on hitting this pitch or just hitting the inside zone. You're just reading the right side of the field, seeing if those linebackers do clamp down. A situation like this, I'm just going to hand the football off. I see him all the way. All, I see that linebacker on the right side all the way man, aligned with that wide receiver. Just going to give the football to Mark Ingram and let him eat right here. So I'm just going to show you guys a couple more times. I should have handed the football off there. That was my bad, but you see those linebackers stop and... You can just eat with Mark Ingram. Again, just running it up the gut, picking up some decent yards with a slow running back, still picking up 10 a pop. You get a fast running back, you put jukebox evasive on him. You are easily going to be able to avoid people in the open field. So you guys see, look how slow Mark Jackson is. I'm not sure why he's so slow, but for whatever reason, I think it's just the triple option that, he, that makes him a little bit slow. Not exactly sure why, but... And that's been it for years. You could have a 99 speed quarterback and he just sort of goes in that jogging motion. It is what it is though. That doesn't take away from the triple option at all. It is still a very good play. So I, as I accidentally flipped the play here, I'm just going to snap the ball real quick. So the only thing you have to worry about is his user. If his user goes out, defends the pitch, you know he's going to be defending the pitch. Just give it to your running back up the gut. So it's going to take us to our first pass play of the video this FL drag now the FL drag is going to be a very good play because of this post route with Marquise Brown he's going to be uh, like the one out of Pat Sale last year if you played just a the one out of sticking up out of the wide trio he's going to be one of those post routes he's going to be basically a crossing route so we have a simple setup just all you have to do is max protect by pressing LB or L1 in the right stick up put A on a streak and then just B on a slant something I like to do motion Marquise Brown in now this kind of gives it away a little bit that you're just passing the football but it can be a good play to run you guys see B is wide open in the middle of the field I could have hit X as well now X is sort of occupy he can occupy this cornerback right here on the right side and it can open up B a little bit so what I'm but I mean by that is I'll try to get him here 
he sort of matches up and you guys see B is going to get wide open. There's no cornerback on that left side anymore. We just have the, the safety and that's just going to get wide open. I could have put a drag there as well. Something you can do is just put Y on that sort of out route. Or I'm in the wrong play, but Y on and out. And then run your same setup. Create sort of a high-low read. And you can snap the ball, but this crossing route does take a little bit to develop. You guys see just takes a little bit of time in the pocket, but you put a fa your fastest re receiver right there, and he is just going to eat. He's going sometimes he's going to get matched up with those linebackers, and you can just easily destroy the coverage. So once again, just run something simple like this. You can put B on a drag as well, as you guys see. Just pass that above, and I uh, didn't get the coverage I wanted there, but you guys pretty much get the gist of that play. It's going to take us to our last play of the video. The under now, under is mainly focused around our corner out right here, Willie Sneed. He's going to be the one we're trying to get open. So I'm just going to start off blocking Y, put B on a streak. He's going to clear out, and then put our B on it out to the right. We're creating a high-low read between Ingram and Sneed. Uh, and what I like to do is just put X on that backside slant, something simple like this. And you guys see, uh, that was actually bad, a bad read by me. I should have hit X, but when you get the match coverage. Uh, it's kind of annoying because this corner out's not going to beat it. So that's why I like to have a little bit of man beating routes on the other side of the field, like a slant in case it is that kind of a coverage. You guys see here, we get Willie Sneed wide open on this corner out. Something unfortunate about the play is that it's not a man beating corner out. It is just a zone beating corner out. It's a little bit slow breaking, although it looks like it is going to be a fast breaking route. It's super slow. So here you guys see... That coverage is going to get occupied by our corner route. He's going to actually be a clear out route for our slant. And we're able to hit Marquise Brown easily in the middle of the field. Could have hit the flats as well. So one last time, our setup is streak B. Our B on and out. Block Y. And slant X. Simple little route combo concept. I set my feet. Can easily pass through that up to Sneed. And we pick up some a huge gain right there. So that's going to go ahead and do it for our video today, guys. Sort of a different video. If you guys did enjoy it, please make sure to leave a like. Show your support to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more Fire Madden 20 content. And peace. I'm out of here.